Hello, I'm Joshua Garner with Men's Health Network, and we're here at the National Healthy Start Association uh, Conference in Washington, D.C. I'm joined by uh, Derek M. Gordon from the Consultation Center at Yale University. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Now, you spoke earlier on the role or how uh, absent fathers impact children or their, their child. Yeah, thinking about the, the kind of the different ways in which fathers' absence impact the child and the child's development. And what does your research or uh, training tell you about that? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of multifaceted. You know, one of the things that, that I talked about was that, you know, some studies say that they're kind of impact across a number of areas. Some studies say opposite. And so I think kind of, kind of thinking about it, the, the thing that I wanted folks to walk away with is that it's kind of dependent on the individual and the context. It's called, depending on the kind of time, but it also, um, it, it's dependent on kind of what other supports are in place to kind of buffer those effects. And so kind of having folks kind of consider, um, you know, the kind of psychological, emotional, economic, um, kind of developmental risks that not having a, a second parent involved in a child's life can have on that child and the child's outcome. Now, what can communities or parents do to ensure that a father is more um, uh, involved in a child's life? Well, I think one is kind of having conversations with men at the community level, kind of saying that there's a value in having um, them in the lives of children and families to increase that conversation. But there's also creating space. You know, how do we create space for men to be involved and kind of model a new way of kind of being for men? Because I think, you know, if you think about the traditional conceptualization of we have, that we have of men, it's like he's supposed to bring him a paycheck and his job is done and that's, that's done. Society does not support that anymore. And so we have to kind of create create spaces for men to kind of take on these new roles that we are kind of holding them to. And what do you think barriers exist for fathers um, who are trying to play a more active role in their child's life? Well, I, I, you know, I think, you know, one of the, um, one of the um, models I, I presented that was the um, Braun van Brenner's um, kind of ecological model, talking about the ways in which, you know, systems impact on individuals and individuals impact systems. And so um, as I think about how we create um, what the barriers and how do we create those supports, we have to kind of think about not only policy and practice, but community, the individual, the family. When all those systems are kind of, kind of given a very consistent message about the value of men in, men in the lives of family and community life, it can actually create, a, I think, a good marriage, pun intended, um, around this issue. So what more can fathers do um, to be involved in uh, their, their child's life? Uh, we know a, a lot of it depends on them and them wanting to be involved. You did speak earlier on how um, a man or a father who has an emotional connection with their child is more likely to be involved and also pay child support. So yeah, and I, I think that, you know, talking about how we foster those attachments, you know, um, becomes a really critical piece. And I think that that attachment can be the foundation from which to build. And, you know, um, but the other thing that, you know, the, the hard part of it is showing up, you know. And so I, I tell folks all the time that the biggest battle is showing up and then figuring out how you create space when you do show up. You know, I think oftentimes in the context of changing families, there, there are... Um, the focus tends to not be on the child, it tends to be on other things. And I say, you know, having men show up and have the focus be on the child, I think create, can create space for him in a very good way. And when you say the attention tends, not be, tends to not be on the child, it could be on other things, maybe dynamics between the mother and father and Absolutely. other people? Absolutely, and so kind of thinking about, you know, you know, it could be simply who, who she may be, may or may not be with now, um, what she does or doesn't do with her dollars, you know, um, you know, however she's kind of living her life, rather than kind of focusing on that, kind of thinking about what can I do to support my child who I have to parent for the rest of my child's life. And so kind of thinking about that, making the focus about the, the kid, I think becomes really critical in that way. All right, well, thank you so much, Derek, for speaking with us. We do appreciate it.